are you ready to rock an AI? Hi, my name is Barnes, and today we're going to be talking about music and artificial intelligence. Maybe you're a musician who needs a little extra inspiration, or maybe you don't know anything about music at all, and you just don't even know where to begin. Well, AI can really help you out. You've probably heard of this one specific type of artificial intelligence called machine learning, and maybe you've heard of neural networks. Well, there's a couple different kinds. There's convolutional neural networks, or CNNs, and recurrent neural networks, or RNNs. And normally you hear about CNNs when you're talking about object detection and classifying images or uh, somehow using higher dimensional data. And usually you hear about RNNs when, uh, when you're referring to something like sequential data, like uh, stock data, stock forecasting, weather prediction, or, uh, or biomedical data, like, like DNA sequences. When it comes to music, you could use either convolutional or recurrent neural networks, depending on what type of musical information you're trying to parse through or what type of songs you're trying to create. But for today's purposes, we'll be talking only about RNNs. And we'll go through a couple different ways that you can make music yourself using AI. Waveforms are types of audio files that store a lot of high resolution sound data, like an MP3. This sound spectrum analyzer takes my voice and turns it into a waveform. They're great for sound quality, but they're really large, maybe tens or hundreds of times larger than MIDI files. AI training requires lots of data, so smaller files are better. In the case of MIDI files, they can produce some pretty great sounding music, but they only need to store the notes, the timing of those notes, the velocity of the notes, and other basic data. This sequential data, made up of only two types of bytes of data, is ideal for being able to directly input into a recurrent neural network. In this video, we'll be using Magenta, which is the music AI program suite under TensorFlow, developed by Google, which is considered the most popular AI platform of its kind in the world today. So first, we're going to show some simple browser-based examples before getting into something more advanced. Let's first search for Magenta's community demo experiments. We'll first look for Deep Drum and Deep Arp. This allows you to use AI to make a melody and a beat at the same time. If you play around with the settings and the temperature, which is sort of a measure of randomness or originality, you can get some pretty interesting music. Then we'll move on to what's called the Neural Arpeggiator. With this, you can press a single key to try different repeating melodies. After playing a bit, I found the melody that I like. So I'll take this file and using a free program called LMMS, I'll add some other instruments to it to try to make a song. Here I'm playing just the file I recorded from Neural Arpeggiator. And now you can hear the song that I created from that AI generated song. To do this, you can simply click on Beats or Bassline and play with it until you get something you like.
and the same goes for adding another instrument like a bass. Simply add instruments and drag and drop notes until you have something to make your AI music more complete with just a small amount of human touch. Now we'll move on to something a little more advanced. In this exercise, we'll be using real Python programming to create some music files based on some TensorFlow Magenta pre-trained models. These models, known as mag files, are already trained with thousands of input MIDI songs, so you don't have to. All you need to do is use the model to generate some AI songs. To do this, you'll need a bunch of things. Here's the list right here. To install and familiarize yourself with Anaconda Python, and how to use pip to install Magenta, and downloading a GitHub repository, there are a million tutorials already online on YouTube. So I'll just refer you to some below in the description, and I'll just pause here for a second. Presuming that you've already installed all this stuff, I'll move on ahead with some discussion. In Magenta, there are a few different types of recurrent neural networks, basic, look back, and attention. Different models have pros and cons in different situations. For this exercise, we'll be using the attention model. I won't get into the technical stuff here, but to give you some background, RNNs look at patterns in the sequences of notes in MIDI files, one piece of data at a time. To be able to make classifications or predictions, like generating new music on these sequences, the RNN needs to be able to look at the notes that were just played, as well as notes that were played a long time ago, to get a sense of the whole song. You can think of the attention model as the one that pays attention to all the notes during the whole song, but pays most attention to the ones that were just played, if that makes any sense. So, First, I'm going to open an Anaconda prompt and activate an environment I've named Magenta. Then I'll go to the D drive and go to where I've installed the GitHub Magenta files and navigate to the Melody RNN folder. I'll quickly show you all the mag files I have. I put a link in the description below. And again, we'll be using the attention mag file. I'm going to copy and paste a special line of code, again noted below, that allows me to generate a set of 10 brand new short AI generated MIDI songs of a preset length, beginning with a starter note. I'm changing the output folder here so I can find the files later on. And when I run the program, you can see that it goes ahead and generates new songs, one by one, and tells you how long each one takes to make. Now that I'm done, I'm going to CD into the output folder and do a dir to see all the files that were just created. Now comes the fun part. I've gone through and listened to each song, and now I've gone ahead and picked a favorite one. So now I'll import that MIDI file into LMMS. Here's what it sounds like. By default, it plays as a piano. But if I take that same song and copy the sequence of notes into different instruments, you can hear that it makes totally new music.
So here's what it sounds like as a completed song. The best thing is that any music you make with AI and LMMS is completely yours, and it's totally copyright and royalty free. Hopefully, you can use some of the tools here, whether you choose to do a basic or an advanced version of an AI song, and make some cool new music. And if you do, please be sure to share it in the comments below. Again, be sure and check out all the links and tutorials below in the description. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.